Hey, what's up? What's up? Dude, I... Man... I'm so fucking excited. The first New Year, New Me, dude. New Year, New Me. I'm reinventing myself. I'm not going to be mean anymore. As of today, I am not going to be mean to people. That'll be my new thing. Why are you laughing? It's fine, it's whatever. January 1st is not equal April 1st. <laughs> nice! That was fucking funny. Fucking funny. Funny! It's good, dude! Fuck yeah! Killing me! Uh, I'm thirsty. Any more water? I never have enough. But yeah, it's gonna play some uh, horror games today. Some I've got like three or four. Should be about a three, four hour stream. The usual. I'm not planning on going super long because uh, I'm in the feelings of a cold coming on. You know what that means? <laughs> You know what that means? So, uh, I'm gonna take it a little easy just to be safe. While I quench myself. It's never my fault, dude. <laughs> never my fault when the virus gets in. Uh, never my fault. Never, never me who, uh, who tracked it in. So, uh... Literally couldn't ever be me. Can't win them all. Although next time Christmas comes around, if there's any news of the virus, I'm gonna laugh in everyone's face when they tell me to come upstairs. That'll be my next Christmas tradition. I will laugh in all their faces. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. No, no. I'll be fine. I I'm also pretty sure I caught COVID last year when this exact same thing happened. Which should have taught me a valuable lesson, but I was like, there's no way it'll happen twice. It's never my fault. I'm careful. But, uh, I also have a tendency to, when I think I'm uh, anywhere near sick, get an immediate cold. So, um, for all I know, I am able to, with the power of pure paranoia and placebo, create illnesses in my body. I think I might be that strong. That I can will my body into activating, like, a, uh white blood cell surge to kill nothing. So they'll all just be running around in my body giving me like shitty exhaustion symptoms for like a week while my body looks for something that doesn't exist. I'm like a superhero. <laughs> Superpower, sick man. Nice immune system, bro. Thanks, bro. I kind of, I kind of pump <laughs> immune, my immune cells. I kind of pump them. Sigma variant incoming. <laughs> more like, more like Nigma variant. <laughs> I still got it, dude. I still got it. Funny. Ligma, get it? Like Ligma balls. You know if they make a Sigma variant, that is going to be the last thing some poor fuck says. Right? You know that, right? And it's gonna be dark, and it might ruin the joke.
Hey, Tomato, can your New Year's resolution to be, f uh, be to be funny this year? That would be great. I don't know why I read these messages out loud. I deliberately said I was going to try to be nice this stream. That was like my New Year's resolution is to try to be nicer. And you're already pushing me. Ban them all. Ban them. It's not mean to say ban them. It's not, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Ban them. Ban them, ban them all. Ban them, kill them. No, that is mean. It's mean to say that. Destroy them. That could mean anything. That could mean anything. But yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to fucking save up my power because I still have to do D&D &D tomorrow. And there's, a, there is, gang, I haven't played D&D &D in like, Two and a half weeks or some bullshit. There is no way I'm missing the indie tomorrow. <laughs> there is simply, there, there is nothing that could get in my way on that one. I'm going through the withdrawals. I ain't gonna miss it. So I, I would, I will cut the stream as short as I have to, to feel like my body will fucking survive till then. I'll do whatever it takes. He needs his fix, chat. Look, it also doesn't help that Joe stopped our last session at, like, a genuine cliffhanger and then laughed at all of us. It was like, ha ha ha. I wanted to stop right here so you'd have something to look forward to next week. And then just fucking disappear into the mist. So I was, like, pretty PO'd. I was like, you fucking little bastard. <laughs> I like cliffhangers when I'm the person watching the show and I can simply forget about the show for two weeks and then click a button and watch the next episode or watch like all of them in a massive binge over the course of like a month. Like two years after it aired. All right. But when I'm the one in the show, cliffhangers just fucking piss me the fuck off. I sent Joe like a five paragraph essay about how angry I was at him, dude. It's like, you got some nerve pulling moves like this. But that was 2021 me. That was 2021 me. Now, I'm 2022 me. I bet Joe replied TLDR. He would reply that to a message, dude. He would reply that to a message. He he would absolutely reply that to a message. TLDR. I don't read. I don't know how. Sorry, dude. Left on red, Poro said. Look, you want to know what's the most psycho insane thing anyone can do is leave read receipts on anywhere. <laughs> my The first thing I do when I get my phone is tell it to never, ever, ever let people at, like receive read receipts from me or that allow me to receive read receipts from them. I'd rather live in complete mystery for my entire life than ever know that one person looked at a message I posted and then consciously w decided not to respond. Because that person, if I ever observed that exact thing happen, would be dead to me. They would be dead to me. Dead to me. As in really just dead to me. I'd never talk to them again. Like, if someone doesn't reply to me and there's no read receipts, I can always rationalize that they didn't see the message. But if, like, I was trying to reach out to a friend, I was like, yo, dude, you want to do something? And they didn't respond to my message, and then I saw they also read it two days ago and didn't respond, I would never talk to them again until they messaged me back. They would never, ever hear back from me. I would disappear like a ghost. But that's 2021 me. 2022 me, all right, doesn't use phones anymore. I threw my phone out. I threw it in the garbage can. The phone was bringing toxicity into my life, so I threw it in the garbage. 
threw it right in the trash can. It's all about positive vibes in 2022. Posi vibes. Now for Twitch. I need a dumpster for that one. I need a much larger can. Phones are overrated. Slow, important letter writing is far more important. No! I've had to write a couple of letters recently for things. Writing letters fucking sucks. Like, it's actually miserable. Every time I had to put a letter in an envelope this year, i take the letter out 18 times and make sure there wasn't a typo on it because I was so paranoid. Like, letters make me paranoid. I'm like, ooh, ooh, is there something wrong still? Sounds like Tomato has bad handwriting. Oh, you thought I hand wrote them? Are you an idiot? Oh, sorry, that was mean. Ah, oh, dang. Ah, oh, fuck. Ban that guy. He ruined my resolution. Ban them. I want them gone. First ban of 2022, no mercy. <laughs> that's my that's my slogan for 2022. <laughs> I lied. I lured you all to a false sense of security. The the real slogan for 2022 is 2022, no mercy. <laughs> that's that's my that's my slogan. For 2022. The virus made him even meaner. I'm fighting my body is fighting for its life. That or I don't have the virus. I mean, chat, look, here's the thing. For the next week, if I have any kind of cold symptoms, I am going to operate on assumption for the sake of uh, self-quarantining just in case other members of my family somehow don't catch anything, that uh, I have the virus. So I am living the, uh, the fucking uh, self-quarantine life again, which I've lived for the last two years. Five years, so, and not much has changed. So I'll be fine in that regard. I'll be fine. I've lived this life since I graduated high school. I'll be fine. Tomorrow I get, you know what I ended up playing a lot of yesterday? <laughs> you, know what, you know what was my yesterday thing after stream? When I was like, when I first got like the sniffles and I was like, oh no, it's happening. Maybe it might be happening. I played like fucking eight hours of Stardew Valley. Cause I was like, I just like looked up Stardew Valley. Cause I was like, I kind of want to play like a game that I can just like chill out and fish in or something. I played like eight hours of like modded Stardew Valley with like all the expansions, like two like big expansion mods. And I was like, I didn't even know that expansions for this game existed, bro. This is crazy, dude. But I couldn't, I, dude, I'm like, the problem is when I played that game, it made me really self-conscious because the only person I actually resonated with in the whole thing was that freaky, slimy, greasy fuck Morris. The one that works at the supermarket. And it fucking pissed me off. Was that I couldn't, I didn't feel like anyone there was my, anyone in the village was like down with how, what I thought about. And then Morris came in, he fucking like runs in the middle of the goddamn, I'm like, I go to the goddamn grocery store to buy a backpack. And this guy comes in, not even a fucking shred of shame in his bones. He walks in front of everyone, everyone's staring at him and he just goes, <clears throat> I got 50% off coupons for the competitor supermarket right down the street. Come and get them. And everyone, it was, it made me unwell in real life. Like I watched as the owner of this grocery store freaked out because this guy like poached all of his customers and then scampered back off into the darkness. And I'm like, damn, dude. I bet that made him a lot of money. I should do that. I should find opportunities to do that in my real life too. 
See what this what what Twitch needs is a way for me to apply a sale on personally my subscriptions. <laughs> So I so I can pick up the, uh, the 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 business toxicity. Let's just get rid of all the bullshit. A reverse raid, in a sense, <laughs> or I guess more possibly a actual raid where I go in and raid their audience to like try to get them to leave, like more of a more of a like offensive kind of raid instead of like a raid where everyone stays. A raid where people come in for a second, get what they need, and then leave again, like a like a. Yeah, like a kidnapping. Yeah. Yeah. Anonymous, thanks for the 20 gifted subs. Those were not on sale. No returns. No refunds. Thank you. Whoever you were. Which, of course, as long as it's anonymous, I can happily say, that was me, baby. <laughs> That's 20 gifted subs from me, baby. That's 20 gifted subs from yours truly, baby. No refunds. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. You can do it by spamming funny clips and live stream fails. I'm quite happy knowing that my uh, channel isn't really a live stream fails channel. Not that that, not that I, not that I got any fights I want to start. It's just um, it's not my scene, and I'm glad that I'm not it. People uh, are like rabid animals, and they can take that as a compliment or an insult if they want, depending on how they're feeling today. Uh, but, um, it's not my scene. Like, I, I, I remember being linked, a link to that Reddit, uh, when the Pokemon clip happened. And people were like, everyone was very nice and supportive, but there was a big subset of people who were like, Who's this guy? This is funny. I want to see more of his stuff in here. Like, where did this guy come from? And it was like, <laughs> Please don't. Don't do that. Don't. Gang gargling balls was still my greatest of... My greatest trick. I mean, I can tell you flat out that was my favorite joke of 2021. I don't think there's much that can top how fucking just hilarious that whole bit was. I think that was, I, I think if I had to pick a joke from 2021 that was like the my favorite thing I did, it would be that whole sequence, followed closely by Cum Spoon. The uh, last half of 2021 was stronger than the beginning, I think we can all agree. I don't even remember what happened in the first half. I don't even remember what happened. The first stream of 2021 was your worst ever. What the fuck did I do in 20? What was it? If someone remembers, what was my first stream of 2021? Which one are you talking about? Don't starve. Oh, uh, nah, it wasn't my worst stream ever because Dave was there. So I had fun at least. I'm sure I had fun at least. If that, if it was one with Dave, I wouldn't have counted that as my worst stream ever in anything other than like a bit. But uh, nah, my worst stream of 2021 And I'm not counting ones where there were like tech issues and I deleted it. Or ones where I got like mad or like toxic. It was like a toxic thing. I mean like genuinely, I let the stream stay up there representative of my channel. And I was like, and now thinking back on it, I'm like, ooh, that one's beans. Why did I let that one stay up? Hmm. The worst one. The, uh, that Farmer Simulator game. Oh, yeah. It was probably that Farmer Simulator game. The one where, uh, they ruined frolicking for me. That stream was beans.
it wasn't that it wasn't funny. It was just like not a good game. And I did so little vetting for it that when I got into the game and I realized how fucking little there actually was that I could do easily without like a ridiculous amount of grinding, I just like shut down and like wasted time for like three hours. Lake Ophelia was a bad one. My brain literally deleted that game out of my memory, but I don't think Lake Ophelia was as bad. I think it was mainly the ending that sucked. Best stream of 2021 was Dragon's Dogma 2021 or was that 2020? Is that 2020? Because if Dragon's Dogma was 2021, then the first stream of Dragon's Dogma, hands down. I loved that. That was like some of the most fun I had in a long time on stream. Easy. Easy. Stream two of it sucked. <laughs> no, it's just a fun. It's just a fun game. That was a good time. That was a good time. I had fun. Well, the first long drive stream was 2020. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive the first long drive stream was 2020. Like the first one where I did the perspective bit. And the others I don't really count in the same way because the first one was the one where that was like the fresh idea. So that doesn't really count. <laughs> but yeah, all streams suck. I'm derivative. I haven't had a new idea in like five years. Streaming, uh, there is nothing. <clears throat> There's no creative juices left. I am, I'm like just fucking, I'm at the bottom of the barrel, scraping and I'm scraping and I'm scraping. And I left the barrel a long time ago. I've dug right through the fucking wood and now I'm in like the dirt and the mud. I'm like pulling up worms and I'm like, is this anything? Is this anything? And some people laugh when they see the worm that I pulled out of the mud beneath the barrel. And they're like, haha, that's funny. And then I, I make a stream about that boring worm. And that's been the last like four years of streaming. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. Honestly, just do your intros from now on. It's better than your gameplay. True. 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 Last good stream Tomato Gaming did was Signal Simulator back in 2012. Hasn't had a good one since then. Washed up. Washed up. Is just the year Tomato turns to podcasting? I don't want to ever do that. I don't want to ever do that because there's like five things I'd have to do at the same time. All right, first of all, if I was going to switch to exclusively never playing a game again, I'd have to turn on the fucking face cam. Like, I, I, at, that, at that point, I'd need more material, like, visually to work with in my life. I wouldn't be able to keep coasting off of, like, a fucking, like, this so that I do right now. All right? I, so I'm never doing that. Because then I'd have to actually, like, wake up an hour earlier than I do every day. To, like, make sure that, like, I don't look like a goblin. Because it takes, like, two hours for my face to transition from, like, goblin to, like, person again. So that's never happening. It takes me about, it genuinely takes me two hours to feel like I can show myself on a camera. Like, Sundays suck for me until I start D&D. Because I have to wake up earlier because I'm like, I don't want people to see the beast. You know, if that, if you know what that means. Okay, and then I'd get bored of that within like a week. Twenty twenty two is the year of the VTuber podcast. I am never 
ever, ever gonna make a VTuber. <laughs> and I'll tell you exactly why, it's because it takes way too much time. If I could spit out a VTuber in like a day and have it working, I'd do a joke about it. But most of the time when someone's making a VTuber, they've got like 500,000 like work in progress pieces. They've got like, it takes them like fucking six months to get a functional moving image. Like I, that's too much. I'll be, I'll do, I'll be a VTuber for one day if I can do it without any work or any effort on my part, but with full creative control somehow. If those two impossible things I just listed of zero effort on my part but full creative control can somehow happen at the same time, I'll show up as a VTuber on stream for exactly eight seconds. And then I'll never do it again. Just pay someone. Dude, it must be nice having the like brain that doesn't constantly feel like everything has to be perfect. That you can just hand something off to someone and let them do their job or whatever they're paid to do without constantly feeling like you need to be over their shoulder making sure everything goes well. That's not me, that's why I don't hire people to do things. Because that will, I will never be able to do that. If my money's going to something, I basically want to be holding the person's hands as they make it. Like a fucking weirdo. Like over their shoulder. Both of my hands on their hands, guiding them as they do it, even despite the fact that they're the professional. Which is why I don't hire people to do things. The Death Rage, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you, the Death Rage. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Nice. My streamer is insane. I'm not your streamer. <laughs> I'm not your streamer. I'm afraid I'm at maximum capacity. I have no more space. 2022, no mercy. We're over capacity. Fuck you. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, then. Gatekeeping his own stream. That's gotta be wild. <laughs> Yeah, there's someone new coming into the stream and the fucking streamer flat out telling them to get the fuck out. You couldn't handle it. Not in a million years. Come back later. This one's too much for you. Fuck off. Hey, Tomato, what's this spooky, what's this spooky game? <laughs> Have you read the goddamn title of the stream? Along with the title of the game I'm playing? Before you ask the dumb question? Huh? 2022, no mercy. I shouldn't have even have elaborated where any of the information was. I should have just called you like an idiot, stupid, and then like pushed you over into like the mud. Wow, 2022 is turning out pretty toxic. It's not gonna get better, chat. If you thought, look, I know for the last couple of years, some of you have been fairly optimistic that the next one is gonna be the one where stuff gets oh, good again. I got some bad news, fuckers. <laughs> we ain't, it ain't getting any better. I can go ahead and remark my words. The only good thing that might come out of 2022 is Sigma variant, so we can all make Ligma jokes for like a, a little bit. 
all right? That might be the only good thing. And that's not even a good thing. That's just like a way to sort of look at a bad thing in a different light. That's all we might get. Okay. Ligma. He's got the Ligma variant. <laughs> Ligma balls. I'm mean, see all I'm waiting for because I know it's coming. We're running out of <laughs> It's coming. All right. The thing is eventually I'm looking forward to like in the mid 2022 I'll open a newspaper, crisp newspaper. I'm going to open it up. I'm gonna see in big bold letters the headline. Doctor in hospital says Ligma variant, Ligma balls to a patient is fired immediately. And I will finally die, like on the spot. I'll, I'll, I'll finally die. Some doctor after years of dealing with COVID, con like mental, mental bombardment, for the last like two years snaps and says that to someone gets fired instantly and at last I'm allowed to ascend I will grow angel wings and immediately fly up to heaven at last and I will I'll just die there's nothing more this world can give me really heaven I'm going to heaven alright I'm <laughs> I'm gonna sneak in I'm gonna sneak in. I'm gonna creep in. I thought you and Jesus weren't on good terms. Where the hell did you hear that from? Jesus and I are on very good terms, <clears throat> matter of fact. Not that you'd know, because I don't tell you about it. <laughs> My Jesus is Krungo. Look, dude, with how much exposure I give Jesus daily by bringing him up on stream, I, it would baffle me if I wasn't on good terms with him. He's a, He's an influencer. He gets it. I'm I'm frequency boosting him every day. I'm paying him an exposure <laughs> for his hard work. Yeah, but you hate wine. Wine sucks. I don't know why people like it. Like it's not good. It's really not. I had some over the holidays, I tried some because my uncle was like, this right here, this right here is some of the good stuff. Because he knew I didn't like it. I tried some. It was still beans. It was still beans. And it was supposed to be good. Imagine drinking old grape juice. Well, that's the craziest part is that new grape juice also sucks. Like, if it's just grape juice, it's also not good. So, like, no matter what, it's not like leaving it out for longer is going to make it better. It's just bad. A fine two-week vintage. I left this bottle of grape juice out for a whole day and a half. A lovely vintage mix. Give it a taste. I just poured this one. It's a five minute vintage. Yes. I hate beer. Am I weird? No, you're not. Don't let anyone look, dude. I've said it once. I'll say it a thousand times. Everyone fucking hates beer. The only thing is some people. Okay. Some people say they like it because they, be, they, they don't want to be the only person that likes it. They don't want to be the only person caught drinking it still, so they just say they like it, and there's like this big collection of people that are all like, yeah, I really like beer. We all like beer here. We like beer. Because it, it, then you're not alone. 
Okay? Then you're not alone. So it's just a bunch of people all, like, circle jerking about how much they fucking, you know. Not me. Couldn't be me. Hard liquor, that's it. And I don't even drink that ever. You've just had the wrong beers. <laughs> that's the safest fucking way. That, that's such a... That, you're pathetic. <laughs> Dude, you just had none of the good ones over the course of the last, like, many years. You could have drank alcohol. You've been... You just haven't had any of the good ones, dude, I promise! Uh huh? Uh huh? So you're telling me every time that someone at like a good, like, craft, like a good craft beer comes up to me, it's like, dude, you gotta try this, this is one of the good ones! And when my friends come up to me, they're like, dude, you gotta try this, this one's good! And I taste it and it's still piss in a glass. That was just coincidentally, once again, one of the bad ones until I've had every single one and I find the perfect good one that everyone's been hiding from me for years. Tomato Mike's Hard Lemonade Gaming. I can tell you one thing for absolutely certain. I can't get a single, like, gulp of Mike's hard lemonade down my throat. I I feel like I'm going to immediately pass out from the taste. Like, I, I, I it, it, that shit's... I don't like... It's so sugary. It's so awful. Like... It tastes bad. If I can ever go and taste chemical in anything, too much for me. The sugar is un- it's too much. I'll do a hard cider if I'm feeling adventurous. <laughs> like a one. What about Mike's hard cock? Any day of the week. 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 You think I'm some kind of pansy? What about a Cuban cigar? I've had a, I've had a Cuban cigar before. No government, I can't say how I obtained it. It, it wasn't mine. It was uh, the exact same as a normal cigar, which I've only, I mean, I maybe have one cigar a year. That's when I go on vacation with like my family. And uh, it magically fell on my lap. I don't know how I got a hold of it. Wait, does U.S. still not allow imports from Cuba? LOL! LOL! Dude, funny! No! It is no! It's like actually embarrassing! It's like actually genuinely like embarrassing! Tomato smunk, say it isn't so. Chat, one cigar a year? is not like even smoking one like cigarette a year. <laughs> like cigars are not, like one a year, <laughs> that is not smoking. I've probably had five in my entire life, probably. Sure, big tobacco, I trust you. Look, Chet, how do you think I curate a voice this disgusting? I need to have constant smoke traveling through my lungs at all times or I just can't do the voice.
You're throwing your lungs away. You're going to die. <laughs> I know most of you 100% understand that what I fucking just described is not the same as someone like actually smoking, but I hope all of you, I hope the others that don't understand truly do realize that a single cigar a year is like having nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> do the voice. Do the voice. This is what denial sounds like. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Look. Look, dude. One cigar a year? I don't even drink anymore, dude. One a year? You're telling- you're telling me? You're telling me? <laughs> I haven't had a glass of alcohol, anything with alcohol in it since monkey ball. Since fucking monkey ball. If I'm sitting out at like fucking 1 a.m. talking to like family outside on like the beach and one of them says, do you want a cigar? I'm going to say, Fuck yeah, I want a goddamn cigar. Eat my cock! <laughs> That's what I say to you! It's the cigarette stocking! Tomatoes 2022, please be nice. No, it's 2022, no mercy. <laughs> it's 2022, no mercy. Not 2022 nice guy, it's 2022 no mercy. Ah uh, yes, 2022 the year of escalation. Worst year already, poor or sad. God, I've drank too much water already. I'm telling you, chat. I don't want to be paranoid and think I actually did end up getting the thing. But when I'm not a usually like super thirsty person, I've already drank two bottles of water. And my fucking, I'm still thirsty as fuck right now. That's, that's not normal. That's not normal. I can feel my immune system fucking firing up into maximum overdrive. <coughs> I can feel it. You want to know what it actually was that wigged me out? I got super sweaty yesterday. Despite not doing anything, I was just like sitting there and I was like, whoa, why am I like hot? And I didn't, I wasn't running a fever either. I was just like, whoa, why am I sweaty? Something's awry. Something's awry. Were you looking in a mirror? Look, I always perspirate a little bit when I look at, you know, what I've become. <laughs> the, the monster I've become. But, you know, I don't think that's enough to do it. Perspiration from the eyes. Isn't that tears? Isn't that just crying? Also, if you hear me mute randomly, that's me like clearing my throat because I got like crusty throat, which could be from any number of things. But, uh. My streamer doesn't cry, he said. It's a cigar. <laughs> it's the one cigar. It's here! It's the one it caught up! 
That's the thing I didn't tell you. The cigar was the size of my arm. <laughs> That's the thing I didn't tell you is that it took me two weeks to finish it. That shit's gross, by the way. Like, giant cigars are disgusting. I've seen people try that shit. Like, when you're basically just... When you're basically, like, fucking smoking a... Like, a fucking... Whole salami? <laughs> That's like, Jesus, you disgusting animal. But it's manly. It's not manly. It's actually lower quality, too. It's like all the worst things. It's like, I don't know how the fuck anyone, gets, anyone would ever get fooled in that. It's disgusting. I always assumed they were only props for costumes. But then someone pulls out a goddamn like elephant trunk sized cigar and they're like <laughs> yes and then they just like go to town on that thing <laughs> I want pictures of Spider-Man I want pictures of Spider-Man now. What do you have against cigars? I don't, dude. I am I on everyone's? Am I against everyone? Cause I was like, I never said anything against or for them. Just that I like have one like a year and now. People are like. Dear Tomato, I can't believe you smoke every single day and are dying. And now I'm getting also messages from people saying, I can't believe you fucking have something against cigars. They didn't really do anything to you. This is some freaking bullshit. 2022, no mercy. Find the ringleader of their operation mods and kill them. Metaphorically, by banning them. Socially execute them. Socially. From the chat. Thank you. No mercy. Everyone knows the rules. No mercy. Someone, I'm not gonna read the whole message, but I did see canned bread. Is that a thing? Do people really eat that? Is canned, I always thought that was like a goof. Canned bread, is that real? That's sad. That's gotta be the saddest thing I've ever thought about. I mean, there's canned beer. Are you... 2022, no mercy. Are you fucking... Of course there's canned beer! That's normal! That's sort of normal! That's a liquid in a can! You're just gonna hear me whenever someone pisses me off. You're just gonna hear me mumble under my breath. Sweet, do I do no mercy? And then I'm just gonna go to town like an insane person. <laughs> Unleash the beast. Twenty twenty two gloves are off. I I'm just thinking about canned bread still. I'm just thinking about canned bread still. 
Is it, does it taste like bread or is there something wrong there? Is there something wrong with it? Like if I were to taste some. It's just dense. Okay. This is dense. Yeah, I want bread. I want some good bread. God, I can go for some sourdough right now. God, I could go for some sourdough right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, I would I would murder someone for some sourdough. I would kill them. I'd kill them like I I I'd murder them. Because of how good the bread is. You ever have Irish soda bread? That's uh, I don't want to listen. I want to sound mean to the Irish, but that sounds like that kind of disgusting sounding thing could only come from Ireland. All right. <laughs> 2022 no mercy. <laughs> that sounds gross as fuck. Like that, no matter what, automatically, whenever I hear some gross, disgusting sounding food, I immediately go to, it had to come from the UK. And then that sounds like an escalation even farther above it. Of like, oh, that's Ireland on top of it. That's not even... That comes from somewhere from that fucking archipelago. Somewhere on that archipelago, something went wrong. It's Archipelago. 2022, no mercy. Throw that person out. Throw that person out. I want full illiteracy in this chat going forward. Throw them out. <laughs> Damn. Katie got there faster than I said to do it. <laughs> I think Katie beat me to them <laughs> that time. Nice. Nice. I like this No Mercy 2022. Look, dude. Everyone just got calm fucked down going forward, okay? Because I got a hair trigger, all right? I, I got, I got, I will, I will just, I will destroy anyone if that's what it takes. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. <laughs> Our streamer turned evil. Happy birthday, Tomato. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Y'all want to play some video games in a minute? Because, um, I really can't stream. I don't, I, I think it's going to be like a three, three and a half hour stream. I've got like three games I want to get through. Two of them will take about half an hour and then one will probably be an hour. And, uh, I, I am already, my voice is like telling me, don't do a full four hours, you'll regret it. So, uh, I do want to get in pretty quick, like, while I've still got juice. New Year, no streams. I don't like them anymore. My New Year resolution is to not watch Tomatoes Gaming streams. That's what I'll do. Miles Cactus, thanks for the five gifted subs. 
Yeah, I mean, the problem, chat, is that, um... I only found this out later, Zane. I'm not supposed to eat the cigar. I've been eating them. Like Slim Jims. I think it's been messing with my voice. You're not supposed to. I've always assumed if you can put it in your mouth, and you're meant to put it in your mouth, you're supposed to fucking completely devour it entirely. Yeah, I knew what I was walking into when I brought this up. Yeah, I know I regretted it instantaneously when I fucking said it. <clears throat> hmm. Let it out. Go ahead, chat. Go ahead, talk about cock and penis and schlong and dong as much as you'd like. Go ahead. Get out of your system. Hello, oh, well. You're talking about penis, right? <laughs> It's one of those, one of those kinds of jokes. Bring it up the classics. That's kind of boring, says one chat member. Coming in, finally someone says it how it is. Hey chat, how much longer is cock gonna be funny? Because some of us get all sick of it. Velvian here has had enough. Forever! <laughs> Alright. In that case, I'm gonna go to the bathroom while you all get it out of your system, possibly forever. I'll be back in eight to nine years. BRB. Alright, you know, I was asked by Brett to stop showing the chat on stream if you guys were going to say crazy words and things, and I've realized I've only encouraged it more and more subconsciously. It's pretty bad. Mm. Hey, Selick, thanks for the gifted sub to Big Cock! Thanks for that gifted sub to Big Cock! Thanks. Chat, there's one thing I actually do want to do going into 2022. Like, actually, I want to start keeping, like, a like a notepad down of, like, stuff that happened during the day. So I have things to talk about during the intro. There's so much shit that happens I just forget happened. Until I've ended the stream, and I'm like, fuck. She just talked about that. Gotta start doing that. All, all, it's not even like I need a physical thing. I just need to open up a notepad text file. But that's already, like, too much work. Wasting content. Yeah, it's pretty bad. No Mercy 2022 Notepad Edition. Yeah, it'll be, like, sort of like a book of grudges. Yeah. 
Anyways, yeah, we're going to play the first game on the list today of games. It's called Employee of the Month. Hey, thanks, uh, Teru, for gifting a sub at the last second to Smallcock. Thank you for gifting a sub to Smallcock. And Subliminal Adult for just gifting a sub to a random uh, chatlet that doesn't have a funny name. Sorry. Sorry, you, whoever you were. You don't get your name read out unless your name has cock in it. Alright, that's the rules. You know the rules. You know the rules. A everyone knows the rules, alright? Everyone knows the rules. All of us know the rules. All right. Employee of the month. He's one of the best. One of the best employees. That's a very nice car for someone that works retail. Yeah, well, it's a very nice car for someone that works retail and gets monthly bonuses on account of being employee of the month. Hey, uh, thanks, uh, Sergeant Rorschach for gifting a sub to Average Cock 49. Thanks. Featuring Fen gifting a sub to Cock Eater. And Zesty Avian, thanks for gifting a sub to Cruel PP. Can we get a ban for Cruel PP? Like, I don't want to see them in the chat. Can we just preemptively ban them? Because I don't think they watch this stream. So I don't think it's going to be a loss if we just ban them now and never let them come in. <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't joking. <laughs> 2022, no mercy. <laughs> There are regular, you're telling me, you're telling me Cruel PP -Pee is a regular on the street. What the fuck did they have to say? Slash user Cruel PP. -Pee. Oh my God, they've got over a thousand messages in the chat. <laughs> Oh my god. F unban him. Unban him. <laughs> unban him. God. Hang on. Hold that. <laughs> Hang on. <clears throat> Straight from the presses. 2021. 12 10 2021, December 10th. The year of our Lord 2021. 1800 hours, 43 minutes. Cruel PP said. <clears throat> Jesus got a tight jussie. Alright, you wanna play employee of the month or uh, what do you wanna do now with that kind of knowledge with that going around? Anyone? Anyone wanna play a video game or are we just gonna keep fucking running around in circles? I think we stopped. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let's play the video game. Hey, I'm getting a call from my boss. Everyone shut the fuck up. Hello? Hey, something's come up. Would you mind taking the late shift tonight? Thanks. I knew I could count on you to pull through. Come by around 11. I'll meet you out front. Okay. Permits our boss? He might be. Permit! <laughs> Good to see you! 
to him? In the chair? Or is that like a dead body? It's not moving. Yeah, my car is fucking nice, dude. Holy hell. Damn. Boss? Look, I know this is short notice, especially for your first day, but we really need someone for the late shift. Davey had to go to the hospital and Claire quit unexpectedly. I see. I can't stick around because I got dinner plans. All right. But I can help you over the phone if you need some motivation. Sure. We never get customers past 8 p.m. Right. I like to keep the place open till about 3 a.m. just in case, you know. Yeah, I get keep it. Keep an eye on the CCTV screens around the place in case anybody actually swings by. Yeah, sure, I can do that. Keep yourself from dozing off. I wrote out the list of tasks. They're pretty straightforward. Nothing too out of your paycheck. Oh, and some advice for the late hours. All right. First, don't open any padlocked doors. You ain't getting paid to go in there. Secondly, okay. the dumpsters are just across the car park. All right. Don't take too long taking out the trash. It's a nice neighborhood, but it's best not to get stuck out in the dark for too long. Third... If the lights go Turd. out, the breaker switches in amongst the shelves in the warehouse. All right, you got it. Not my idea, but whatever. I ain't an electrician. Okay. Lastly, don't go into my office. I wouldn't dream of it, sir. That's everything. Any questions? No. I don't, don't good. think so. Anyway, the list is at the customer service desk. Oh, and be sure to clock out by 3 a.m. Tree. Adios. Okay, bye. You have, like, a card? You need, like, help? He might be about to steal my car. Boss? Well, um... Fucking locked out. Okay, <laughs> it's, uh, okay. it's automatic. I thought I got locked out. I, I didn't open the first time I checked. We're, we're in, we're fine, everything's good. Let's take a look around. Big day today. There we got polar bear. I don't think that's going back in the way I left it. There we go. Let's get inventory all set up. We got the, uh... Oh, there's me? Hold up. What is it? <clears throat> yeah. What the fuck was that sound? Yeah. Okay, there's me. What did I see before? What was that? Just a bit of nothing. Let's just take a look around, okay? Fish. Fish cabinet. Cans. Can cabinet. Holy ravioli, Joey. Joey, thanks for the uh, 5,550 bits. Thank you very much, Joey. Really kind of you. <laughs> really kind of you. Really kind of you. Thanks. We have uh, milk. Everyone loves it. Everyone loves talking about it. If they dare. Here we have, uh... Wait, no, that's milk. That one says it. Right on the thing. Here we have the warehouse. Back storage thing. None to worry about there. Here we have, uh... This section's sold out. What the... Huh? Oh, oh, that was bad. Oh, I jumped into the, I jumped into the multiverse realm. Oh, that hurt my head. Oh, that hurt my head. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're fine. We're fine. That hurt my head though. Uh, I guess I'll, um, I guess I'll grab a, uh, yeah. <laughs> is that the sound I make when I throw things? Blinku. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. 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 Hang on, 
I'm blacking out. What's up? What's wrong with my body? It's happening again. Yeah. 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 What? What? All right. Let's get this back. I, I had some fun, but we're going to get that back on the counter now. Blinku. What? Hello? I, I should do my job. Where's my, where's my notes? Where's the notes that say what I got to do today? All right, uh, restock toilet paper basket, clean up, spill it. Oh, ever since I went to Narnia, find the lost fitness DVDs and restock the rack, clean up, spill on aisle two. These the fitness thing? These look like the fitness thing. These must be the fitness thing. And here's all the CCTV camera. Yeah, there is, uh, some kind of fucking goblin. Thing. Wandering the halls. He looks to be on the far side, way down there. Which means he's not really in my business. He's not really my problem. Yeah. Did it? <laughs> All right, this place is, uh, the DVDs are on the right shelf. Not seeing the, whatever that thing is I'm seeing in the cameras, it seems to be pretty much done. I mean, my first day on the job, I'm doing okay, is how I would put it. I'm not actually seeing the guy. Wait, no, I am. I saw him for a second right at the front. Where the hell is he? I'm right there. Where the hell is he? Damn it, these are all at the same fucking angle. They're not helpful. Yeah, yeah. It's just... Minmo. Where have I seen this before? Isn't that Silent Hill? I'm pretty sure it's a Silent Hill. Minmo. Minmo. Silent Hill 3, just about the only thing I liked about that game before I quit it. God, I gotta remember that subway level. Yuck. Oh. Uh. He was right at the door. Okay, he's walking down one of the things. Okay, well, I gotta clean up a spill on aisle two, which means I need to find a mop. But now I, like, don't really want to go over there on account of the, uh, what time is it? What is this? Oh, is this a map? Yeah! <laughs> Ew! Maybe I, uh, do a quick check on the CC. Make sure this, uh, hallway's clear. Yeah, he's over there by the other TV. No, he's walking towards me, though. Fuck, this guy's cr I don't like this thing. The fuck did he just go? Where did he just go? Minmo? Minmo. Where did he? Is time actually passing? Or can I kind of kill time and do whatever I want? Okay, he's going that way. All right, we're moving. Heading into storage to look for, uh, toilet paper. Oh, the janitor's closet. I needed this. Uh, yeah. is grease? Well, where, how do I clean up aisle two? Uh, all right. If I got to clean up aisle two, first thing I need is a mop. Get that to aisle two. Which one of these is even aisle two? Where's the monster? Okay, he's not in any of the spots that I can... I can get back to the spot I need to be at to, like... No, that's a map. So, where's aisle... I'm guessing aisle two... I don't know which one of these is aisle two. I guess I'll just look for the spill. Aw, oh, this is blue. Yeah. I gotta get the mop back. Can't pick up the mop. Okay, we're going back into the back rooms. 
Going back into the back rooms. We're not going to worry about... Smile. Yeah. 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 All right. So, I got to restock the toilet paper basket. I don't know where the fuck that is. But I know where some toilet paper is. Wait, no, that's... Yeah. That's, uh, that's paper towel. I think I go go deeper into storage to find that. I'm at my fucking limit. <laughs> That's a good poster. I I like that. <laughs> That's I would describe that as a perfect poster. Okay. So um we got to find out where the, uh... Okay, time is not passing. That's good. Please go away, boss's office. Wait, didn't I get paid to not go into the boss's office? Oh, no. What have I done? Let's just... Find the goddamn thing. What is this? Bread slicer. I don't need bread slicer. Where the hell's the... Where do we keep all the toilet paper? Where do we keep the... Don't tell the boss, all right? I'll, I'll kill you. That's a padlock door. I'm going to guess the toilet paper is just in a pretty easy to access area. Where's the... Is this the toilet paper bin? Wait, what happened to... Was there not... Was there not a thing here? Did the layout of the place change a little bit? What just happened? Am I crazy? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, maybe I'm going crazy. I gotta find the goddamn toilet paper basket. I'm guessing it's the empty basket, but that means I still need to get toilet paper. Oh, the spirit, the dark spirit. So, this is definitely the basket. I'm gonna go ahead without... I don't need a label to tell me that's the basket. Unless I see something else that looks basket-like right now. Oh, that's the basket. Wait, no, this is the basket. I need toilet paper! Boss never told me where we keep the fucking stuff! Alright, we gotta go in the back room and find where the real toilet paper is. Because I know there's some of the janitor's thing, but that's not like it, I don't think. Unless this is the toilet paper. If this is, this is more like paper towel to me, but it might be three stacks of toilet paper, but we don't have enough. Yeah. It's as simple as that, baby. It's as simple as that, baby. It's as simple as that. It's as, it, 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 it's as simple as that, baby. Let's get back to the, I'm getting a call from my boss. Oh, the ghost, the demon. That was Diablo. We're fine. Ring, ring. I'm getting a call from my boss. I can go answer that. Tip. Hang on. Everyone shut the fuck up. All right? If everyone asks, we're doing a good job at work today. Don't fucking ruin this for me. Hey, get up. Boss. Sorry to call again. The problem. I just did it. Anyway, I just remembered there's a second list I forgot to mention. Huh? And yeah, that'll need to be done too. Yeah, I mean, you can blame Davy for that one. Fucking Davy. But uh, then he went and slipped on that ice cube. He said he left it pinned to one of the shelves in the warehouse. Should it be too hard to find? I'm so oh, fucking huh? Boss? Diablo, il Diablo. Okay, well, he said, uh, it was somewhere in the back room. Still not sure about Narnia over there, but for now, let's just look into the Davy situation, yeah? Davy, where'd you leave your fucking list? I'm at my fucking limit, I'll tell you that right now, Davy. Better be this. Restock empty milk fridge. Take trash from front door to dumpster. Okay. Where the fuck do we keep the milk? And 
here we are in the milk room. Okay, so this is where milk would go. That's where the milk would go if I had milk to put in it. But uh, I don't. So we're gonna get Diablo, El Diablo, Diablo. We're gonna take him outside. Uh, we're gonna go outside and get the garbage. Uh, we're gonna avoid milk zone for now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where the hell are the dumpsters? That's not a car. Where'd we leave those? Where'd we leave the dumpsters at? Where'd the dumpsters at? Where'd the dumpster are? Where'd the dumpsters... Where'd the dumpsters at? I'm gonna guess it's over, way over as far away from me as physically possible, because of course it is. Yeah. 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 Ha! Is this an escape from Tarkov? I think we're trying to escape from something. Yeah. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. What is that, spirit? Fuck off! <laughs> Get away from me! It must be Davy's ghost! We're gonna avoid him. We're gonna, we'll avoid him. And sink it. Yeah. Hey, look! That's the thing. That's the thing. All right, we just gotta find the milk now. Stack, uh, stack up the uh, milk fridge, then, and just don't go near that guy again. We'll go this way. This is locked. Oh shit. I, I don't know what you want from me, man. I really don't. I, I, I don't really. We're closed today. Just gonna avoid that guy. Attack him head on, no mercy. I'll show you attack head on, no mercy. Yeah. That's all I got. Where the hell do we keep the milk? God damn it. Where do we, um, where do we, where, ah, oh, here we go. Is this, this is the milk. This is, I think this is milk. I'm taking it right out of the employee lounge. We don't use it. The milk room. The milk room. Demon! Demon, the demon again! He's inside the milk room! Contained. Wait, uh, uh, contained. See you later, idiot. <laughs> I'm getting a call from my supervisor. El Diablo! Game kind of spooky, dude. This game got a little bit spooky. A little bit spooky, this game. Boss! What's up? Uh huh. Okay. But since you're there already, could you get on that? It's on my desk. Get it done. Oh. Alright, that's um, wild that you're uh, asking me to come into your office to. Do your work for you. Yeah. But I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it, sir. I'll do it, sir. I'll do whatever it takes to um to 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 make you happy. I'll I'll do I'll do whatever it takes, sir. I'll get up there. Boss's office. I'm at my fucking limit. What do we got? Set of mundane tasks. I do not know how to do that. I don't know, uh... Yeah. Don't know how to do mon set of mundane tasks. Restore lights in the warehouse. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Just find the light switch on the warehouse. A little fucking dark. But, um, you know, it's nothing I can't... Nothing I can't do. It's locked. Padlock's still locked. Can't do anything about that. 
not going to be able to do anything about that anyways. So not much of a concern there. Uh, exit. Probably somewhere in these weaving halls of boxes is the power switch. Bada bing. These are on, no problem. Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck is happening? I, what, hang on, let's. Infinite box room. Uh, well, uh, nothing to worry about, chat. Uh, just lots of storage. In there is all lights are back on. Let's get back to those mundane tasks. Don't want to let the boss down. Let's get back up there. Get this taken care of. What? Ha! Everything's looking good on ground zero. Lights are back on. What the fuck is that? Uh, is the fucking door locked? That looks like a chicken. That's funny. I'm sealed in. I'm I, I, I'm sealed in. And... Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what I'm at. I'll tell you what I'm at, baby. I'll tell you what I'm at, baby. Hey, Brett, thanks for the fucking raid, man. Thanks for the fucking raid. You came just in time. Came just in time. Hope you're doing good, man. Hope you're doing good. Hope you, uh, hope you had a good New Year's. I, for one, am at my fucking limit. <laughs> I, for one, am at my fucking limit. All right, I'm going into the scary room that I was told by Kermit not to go into no matter what happened. God, God. Ah, uh, yes. The shelf realm. Truly the retail worker's greatest fear. Entering the shelf realm. All the shelves completely unoccupied. A call rings out from beyond the shelf realm. Hello? Uh. Oh. Once again, I feel like I have to reiterate that I'm just about at my fucking limit with uh, the way things have been going at this job on day one. On day one. Pretty much what? at my limit on yeah. Yeah, on this one. Pretty much at my, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much, yeah. Whoop, yeah, at my limit on this one. I think I'm gonna pack it up. Head home. Door still locked. Not getting much of anything on this uh, CCTV. Not seeing any monsters anymore. Gonna head to the spooky haunted room. Cause this is locked again. What is this though? Is this blood? Is that blood? Is that blood or is that some kind of oh, boss gonna fucking kill me? Hang on, I'm gonna grab the mop on this one. I'm gonna grab the mop, give me a second. We got mops for this. First of all, just so everyone is aware while we get to the bottom of this, whatever this is. Just, let me just. Let me just. Let me just. <laughs> just it's uh, hard to get it. Yeah! Yeah! There we go. No one's going to be getting hurt on this anytime soon. Now let me go grab that mop. It's a hard job. Someone's got to do it, though. Someone's got to do it right. Eh. Okay, it's not working. We'll leave that there. I'm not the janitor. I'm not. But we'll leave that there so they know for later. I got to get to the bottom of where the blood's actually coming from. Or it's just going to keep... 
Gonna keep getting. Oh boy, it's going into the spot that I couldn't get through earlier. Hello? Oh. What's this? Do not open the garage. This is the only objective. No, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm out. I think I might just leave, leave. You know what I mean? I might just uh, talk to boss. Boss! Is that you? You? Is that you? Out there in the mist? Hey. Fuck off. Boss, what's up? Look, I know this is short notice. Especially for your first day, but we really need someone for the late shift. Danny had to go to the hospital and Claire quit unexpectedly. I can't stick around because I got dinner plans. But I can help you over the phone if you need some motivation. Yeah. You never get customers past 8 p.m. Okay. But I like to keep the place open till about 3 a.m. just in case, you know. Keep an eye on the CCTV screens around the place in case anybody actually swings by. To keep yourself from dozing off, I wrote out the list of tasks. They're pretty straightforward, nothing too out of your paycheck. Oh, and some advice for the late hours. First, yeah. don't open any padlocked doors. Yeah. You ain't getting paid to go in there. Secondly, the dumpsters are just across the car park. Don't take too long taking out the trash. It's a nice neighborhood, but it's best not to get stuck out in the dark for too long. Third, if the lights go out, the breaker switches in amongst the shelves in the warehouse. Okay. Not my idea, but whatever, I ain't an electrician. Lastly, don't go into my office. You got it. That's everything. Any questions? Mm-mm. No. Didn't think so. Anyway, the list is at the customer service desk. All right, boss. Oh, and be sure to clock out by 3 a.m. You, a... you have a nice night now. What am I going to do, Mimo? Mimo, what am I going to do? Mimo, what am I going to do? What? It's not even close to clock out time. What the fuck is going on in this place? The milk zone. I should have known something was off. Ah. Uh, well, let's just check the, um... Mm. Restock toilet paper basket. Clean up the spill in aisle two and find the lost fitness DVDs and restock the rack. I can do that. We've done it before. <laughs> and there'll be no problems there. Chad, no problems there. Go ahead and get those, uh... There it is. There it is. All right, go get that spill. We've done this before, too. No problem. Spill. Spill, gotta go get the, uh, gotta go get the thing. Gotta go get a mop. Whoa! Whoa, 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 we were! Please, please! Oh, 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 oh. Is that toilet paper was? Oh! Fucking day today. <laughs> Big day today.
unbothered, un moist, unbothered, moisturized, happy in my time, happy in my lane, focused, flourishing. Uh, all right, well, I'm gonna get mopping done. I just have to get to aisle two. What? The demon comes. Diablo! Wait, where'd the paper towel go? I had it, I had paper towel, and then I think the fucking demon sent it to the milk room, and now I don't know where it is. I'll have to get it from the janitor closet. Okay. Be cool. Hey. Fuck off. Hey. It's camping. I am strong. I am unbothered. I am moisturized. I am happy in my lane. I am nourishing. Uh, I, I'm flourishing. I am focused. I am going to put this toilet paper. There's a demon right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this toilet paper inside the thing. I will deliver this toilet paper to the toilet paper section. What's going on? What's up with this place? What's up with this place? I don't understand. The milk room. The milk room. Hello? Hey, kiddo. Sorry to call again. How goes that shopping list? Pretty good, boss. Pretty good. Wait, just yeah, you got asbestos or some kind of fumes in this place, by the way. And yeah, that'll need to be done, too. You can blame Davey for that one. We got some kind of weird chemical spill nearby. What? All right. I am focused. I am confident in my lane. I am moisturized. I am flourishing. I am restocking the empty milk fridge. I am taking out the trash. I am at my fucking limit. The milk room. I am powerful. I am successful. I am flourishing in my lane. I am getting mauled by a fucking demon! I am moisturized. Everyone loves me. Sure, we're, uh, we're, if you're gonna buy something, you have to come to the uh, to the store. I um, this one requires a token of material desire. This one requires a token of material desire. You want my you want money? This one requires a token of material desire. You want my, you want? Are you holding me up? Is this a is this a are you mugging me? Am I being robbed? Wait, a token? Ah, NFTs. I, I see, I see. I can look into this. 
look more like okay decided to use been far I can go find the cryptocurrency I don't know if I tell my boss about this uh I'm just gonna give it, I'm gonna give this to the guy. I'm gonna give this to the guy. Hey, is uh this what you wanted? Yeah. Yeah. That doing what that would do for you? Demon, Diablo, El Diablo. All right, well, not sure what to do about the spill at all. At least this part's still clean. And it's back again. Hey boss, I got some guy. Okay, all right. Since you're there already, could you get on there? It's on my desk. Get it done. Okay. Boss, I, uh, do we have any tokens of material desire? Uh, some of the, um, some of the, uh, some people outside are asking about tokens of material desire. I don't know if we stock that. Kafefe. What would count as a token of material desire? Grass? Seeds? Uh, grease? Yeah! I am untethered. I am moisturized. I am happy. I'm in my lane. I'm focused. And I am flourishing. Uh, maybe the guy just wants a picture. Bring this to the guy. Maybe he just wants his weird picture. This is an NFT. This might be an NFT. <laughs> this might be a uh, NFT. Yeah, hey, I found an NFT. Did you just fucking eat it when I threw it? Oh, there it is. Here you go. Yeah. All right, he took it. Hmm. Fuck off! Back! Demon! Back! He took it. He took the picture. We're heading back up to the office. We're just gonna get our... You know, we're just gonna focus on our job. Honestly, Chad, I think that's the more responsible thing right now. I think we're just gonna focus on our job. Something's clawing on the walls. Diablo. El Diablo. It's not even fucking midnight yet, chat. We aren't even close to clocking out. <laughs> so what's the job? There's a set of mundane tasks. So let's go get the lights back on in the warehouse. We know the rules. We know how this all works. Oh, hell yeah, overtime pay? You don't understand. It's not overtime pay. Our shift doesn't end till three. Lights are back on, baby. Lights are back on. Let's get back to it. Back to work. You, uh, guys got any NFTs in here? I need uh, one of the customers outside is asking if we sell those. Okay. <laughs> the shelf realm. Once again, 
the retail employee finds himself trapped inside the unstocked shelf realm. Truly one of the greatest fears of anyone in the retail sphere is becoming trapped in the realm of infinite shelving. Monkey. Monkey. Wait, wait, that's the NFT! That's the NFT! Get me out of here, I'm taking it with me! <laughs> Look, you just get stuck. You have to flick it out. Screenshot this thing! Yeah! Monkey. <laughs> we gotta bring this to the weirdo! Wait for full game release. No, 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 no! Not right now. I took the paper out. No, no! <laughs> no! Let me out! Let me out! What? Let me out! You can't do this to me. You can't. You can't. What? You can't. There's gotta be a way out of here. It has to be. No, no, no. I paid $80 for this game. What is truly a worse fate for any being than to be trapped inside of the early access realm? With an NFT in his hand. <laughs> I just gotta get this to the fucking guy! What? I paid $80,000 for this game! I bought an NFT! What? I think that is actually it. That was great. That was a, that was a good, that was a good little thing for the low, low price of free. The next game on our list is called Corpse Ocean, which is probably going to be less, uh, less, um, silly. It's made by, uh, Kira, who made, um, Lost in Vivo, to my knowledge. I think they made Lost in Vivo. They made, uh, they made um, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. It's one of those short ones. It's like a little, little bite-sized game. So uh, let me load it up, get the get it started, get it labeled, because I think that one actually has a directory. Uh, maybe. Nope. Okay, we remain in the spooky category. This is spooky part two. Spooky again. Here we go. Corpse Ocean. And then I have a interesting game after. We got a couple weird things tonight. No promises dream's gonna be really long though, because like uh once I burn through what I want to burn through, I plan on resting my voice. But uh we will have some fun here. Corpse Ocean. Oceans suck. On August 9th, 1989, an experimental Navy sub went missing. Three weeks later, it was reportedly found by divers from Puerto Rico. The sub is carrying an unidentified organic material that must be retrieved. Okay, easy. Let's find the material. Here we are. Any of you ever dream that guy? Come out and say it now. Just be honest. You ever dream that guy? Dream that man? Anyone dream that man? Every night? Yeah, that's Satan.
That's Satan. So we got a scan thing. We got lights. I shouldn't do that. I'm probably underwater, which is probably why I shouldn't do that. Mission directives. Uh, let me turn down my sensitivity. Holy shit. Locate organic material. Scan for retrieval. Return. Material LNL 22S. 5. 22 South. 5 West. 33D. Longitude and latitude. Chords. Coordinates. WASD to move. Q. X to dive. Okay. Surface is E. Q to go down. E to go up. Click to use. Escape to pause. Easy peasy. Mission objectives considered classified. Report back only when the task is complete. Use the coordinates on page one to approach barrels. Use sonar to find exact locations. Avoid unnecessary collisions to safeguard hull and retain pressure. If sensitivity is too high or volume too loud, please use pause menu to adjust. Fish. Dog. VHS. Man. Anything weird in this place I should know about, though? No? Okay. Uh. Lights are on. Anything I should, like, click? Okay, we got a pinger. We can ping. Let's, uh. Take a look around. Real quiet down here. This will go down. What's our coordinates supposed to be? Where are we trying to go? 22S5 W. Oh, there's the bottom of the ocean. There's something right behind me. There's something right on top of me. Oh, it's little schools of fish. Yeah, I see now, I see. Okay, let's just take a look around the bottom of the ocean. This is nice, this is lovely. Look at all this. Just gotta find where that missing ship is, no problem. Get some fucking seaweed. 22S5W. Okay. We just want to go this way now. Oh, wait, what the heck? Is the compass actually working? Stop moving. It's working. We're going to do this way. And we're keeping an eye out for anything that looks like a ship. So keep your eyes peeled. Should be sunk somewhere around here, whatever we're looking for. We'll leave the lights on. I know some of you get scared of stuff. How the heck did I get so far south? So I'm going southwest. It's just, just something you get all turned around down here in the ocean, chat. You get all turned around, sometimes it's hard to tell where you're going. Oops. Let's see, five west. We should be right on top of the damn thing. Oh, there it is. All right. And scan. Give it closer and give it a scan. And there it is. There's some radioactive waste. Uh, locate organic material. Scan for retrieval. Return. The next one's at 42 north, 1 west, 39 depth. We had north for a while. Which is, uh... This compass sucks eggs. But I believe this is north. Yes, we're currently going north. This is the way. 
It's starting to get a little dark out. Just keep an eye out for the next box. All right. And keep an eye out for that man. We don't want to see him. If he's down here, we surface immediately, you understand? Avoid that man. Don't go near him if you see him. Last I checked, he had a knife. That was like his special thing he could do. Yeah, he owned a knife. What the hell? Command, are you seeing this? Command? There seems to be some kind of, uh... Border here underneath the ocean. That doesn't make any sense. Can we get a confirmation on this? Not getting anything. We'll, uh, keep following the path until we get to 42 North, and then we're just gonna go, uh, do this way for a while. Go. Follow this path for a bit. Let me see what we're looking for. Yeah, we should see it any minute now. Coming up. Any minute now, Chad, any minute now. There it is. It's real quiet, you don't even get any animals out here anymore. Everything's dead or dying. Whatever's inside these barrels. Oh, that's it, up. Next one's, uh, shipped. What do we got? 56 north, 60 west, 62 depth. Okay. Starting to get pretty dark. Leave our lights on. Getting much on the uh oh we're at 62 north uh so now we're gonna be heading west just some fish checking the sonar not that i'm nervous or anything but just checking it to be safe you never know you never know out here and we're gonna want to descend as we go yeah you never know I run into like a whale. So how you all been? You uh, you ever dream that man? Cause you can be honest if you have. Ever dream that man? You never dreamed that man, right? Cause we wouldn't let you onto the ship if you dreamt that man. There's a fish following behind me. They're just in my head. Get lost! Freak! What's the depth I'm going to? 62? Still? Whoa, whoa! Someone just bonked me! Someone just gave me a bonk! Might just be the ground. We are getting pretty low. All right. We're at the right elevation. We need to go a little bit more north, though. This compass sucks. 56 north, good. 60 west. We should be able to see this goddamn thing. Right over here. Fish. Is that it right there? There it is. All right, here we have it. Uh, box number three. This is the kind of like, it's already getting unnerving. 
uh, in this game. And all I can really say is that, like, this is sort of what Lake Ophelia could have done with some spooky. Uh... Not even if it wasn't necessarily super spooky. What we got next? Wait. 29 north, 56 west, zero depth? You guys seen that man? I'm sure, I'll head up. I'll, I'll head up top. I'll head top side. Command. No problem. Miss you all Yeah, I'll head up top. No problem. So it's getting dark anyways. And we should be surfacing just about now. Okay. Man, it's going to be hard to get uh, much higher. But uh, I got to head south. Start seeing the box any minute now. Yeah, aim in now. We should be seeing that box. Can we just beep? Hello? Oh, uh, let's just keep moving. Dolphins is something outside the ship. Oh, it's over there. Should be right ahead. All right, next box is right on the surface. What? Guys, check the check the check the manual on the game. This is a strand type game. What is this? Some kind of strand type? This might be some kind of stranding. Boss, I'm seeing a stranding happening. Right now, on the game. Uh, right underneath the sea. Uh, I'm seeing a stranding. I'm going to approach now. I'm getting a possible stranding. I was hoping any second now I would turn around and say, Ever dream this man just be Kojima. Sir! <laughs> this is a no strand zone. I'm going to have to kill you. If you don't submit now, I... That wasn't even the objective. Uh, that was... Where the fuck am I? We're going to 11 south, 75 west, 56 depth. Two boxes down there. All right. Just maybe a little bit of... A little bit of sea madness. It's late. It's late. It's late. Let's get to 11 South. It's late. It's, it's just late. Alright. Simple as that. It's just late. It's late. Things happen. Out here. On the sea floor. Some larger blobs on the old sonar. All right, there's 11 South, coming up, there we go, get westward, all right, 75 West, some giant fucking thing behind me, just not gonna worry about it, let's start heading down. It's right on the spot. We should be able to see it right in front of us as soon as we get there. It's 56D. It's a kind of big fucking thing. Hello? Well, I saw something behind me, but there's no space for stuff behind me. Box's uh, barrel should be right here. Matter of fact. Uh, 
that's uh looks like we found the crash oh boy uh boss if you can hear this i'm still getting some uh, i'm getting a strand getting some stranding here kojima might be around just want you to know in case i don't come back might be dealing with a stranding situation. Scratch that. Looks like it's just a hose. Got the first barrel up in front of me. Gonna ping it up. Up it goes. Heading for barrel number two now. Weird hoses everywhere. Trying not to bump into anything. Gonna get a little wide with this. Sweep around. All right, got the barrel right in front of me. Going for it. Got it. All right. Mission accomplished. Another two to go. Hey, boss. Boss. Uh, this, uh, this one's, uh, actually going almost double my maximum allowed depth. Boss. What's, um, what's up with that? What's up with that? What's that one? Uh, that's, that's 178. I can only do 100. You guys seen this man? <laughs> Cause I think this this man might be my boss. That might be what's happening. Anyways, uh, let's head south. See, what was wigging me out about the uh, compass was I didn't realize it was truly exact turn. Like I don't know how it stays aligned, but like my arrow keys move it at perfect, like perfect sync which wigs me out because I'm like I'm not used to compasses moving perfectly does that make sense so I was like constantly like there's something wrong it's like drifting in weird ways because I didn't realize it was moving perfectly in sync with my with my keyboard it freaked me out now I now I get it and it's easier Let's turn off the lights for a little bit save some power Not like we'd see anything anyways out here. Not like there's anything to see. Just nothing but the ocean. Not much of anything at all out there. What the f fuck was that? What the f fucking hell was that, boss? Boss, boss! There's some kind of weirdo in the in the water. I think he's on the thing. I'm gonna try to scrape him off. All right, Chet. Here's a shovel. I'm, I need you to go out there, open the hatch. Okay, open the hatch, hold your breath, and scrape the guy off. All right? Gonna need to scrape him off. I think this way, I'm gonna start going down. We're heading in the right direction. Pretty much aligned. Start descending. Whatever the fuck that thing was. It's just... It's ocean madness, Chad. It's ocean madness. It's just ocean madness. Pretty much aligned. Last chance to turn back. Before it's too late. Maybe we don't descend to maximum depth. 
till we're uh, sure we're over the spot, yeah? 28, 29, 31, 31. Shit, actually went over right there. Shit, fuck. 31. Ish. Sure. Straight down. Going past our allowed depth now. Have to get to 178. Hello? Hello? What the hell is this? Not fucking Cthulhu. Not goddamn Cthulhu. Not Cthulhu again. I think I might be dealing with some kind of Cthulhu situation. We're gonna have to go in the crack. Us, uh, I am, uh, I'm in the, I'm in the temple, and the depths, um, I think we are dealing with some kind of Atlantis Cthulhu kind of thing happening right now. I'll radio back once I've blasted them with the ray. But it might take a minute. I'm gonna find that man. Cause woohoo! <laughs> if you're down here, make yourself known. I've got a hair trigger. All right, I will take you down if I have to. Is there natural light in here? God no. Whoa! I'm getting kind of. I'm getting all bounced around. Almost there. Hey, wait. Hello? Qu Cthulhu? Cthulhu? Anyone? I can't hear anything on the sonar either. Light went out. Something's awry. In 1997, NOAA received strange reports around the Sargasso Sea near the same coordinates as the Navy's lost sub. This satellite image is all that remains of those reports. See, that's how you make a good underwater thing. Like, that's like perfect buildup. But again, I already knew, like, Kira knows how to make a good horror game, so. I mean, like, the sound was awesome. Both these games are fucking awesome. Like, both the games I just played were great. I believe this was from a, yeah, a uh, 10 day jam from Dread XP. I think those are the people that made the Dread X games. Uh, I wonder when they're making another Dread X game. Because I don't think this is being packaged into a game. But, uh, I mean, I'm going to be honest. Jaren? Jaren Christ? 
That was that was some good fucking sound. That was the thing I noticed in this one. The sound was uh pretty good. Wait. Jaren Christ. JC Jesus 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 Next game This one's a gonna be a weird one This one's gonna be a, a weird one This one's gonna be This one's called Toru Taru. It is gonna be the weirdest one. I have not gone into this one very deeply because I believe it's best experienced like first go. I'll turn on the display in a second. Taru Taru. Warning. Taru Taru contains occasional flashing lights and patterns which may trigger seizures in photosensitive individuals. This is your content warning for that. Taru Taru contains elements which may disturb some players, including themes of suicide, stalking, shocking, sudden events, which is like, which is like the f official term for jump scares, I believe. <laughs> It's shocking sudden events. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe how many shocking sudden events this fucking movie has, bro. I got shocked. I was shocked by shocking surprise mechanics in the video game. <laughs> Sensitive individuals and those with heart conditions are proceeding at their own discretion. This game also might itself be cursed, tainted, or otherwise spiritually dangerous. By continuing, you agree that the developer is not responsible for any misfortune which may befall you, the player. I continue for all of us, on behalf of all of us. No one leave. Taru Taru. Infinite match. I lock the door. Controls, wedged, all the usual. F to use a talisman, Q to use the map, A click, etc, etc. Okay. Stats, haven't done anything. This game is, uh, to my knowledge, very into the back rooms. If that makes sense. This one's like into the back room style horror. Of like infinite... This is nice. Nah, I'm out, dude. Nah, that's enough for me, dude. It's really her. I haven't seen her in three weeks. We knew each other since I started school in the new city. These past three years, all I've wanted is her. I kissed her for the first time on Valentine's Day. We've been dating for six months. Dude, I'm afraid of sudden surprising events. Sometimes she'd start stupid fights with me, but I didn't care. I felt like all other parts of my life were easier knowing I had her close. Recently, she started hanging out with some sketchy people and she broke up with me abruptly. I know, I know. Pretty sure her parents kicked her out and she ran away with those sketchy people. I thought she and I were over, but here she is. It must have been a bad dream. Hey, you okay? I'm just about done with my coffee. Um, on our walk home, can I show you something? I think you'll really like it. Okay. You want a coat or something? 
I'm afraid of sudden surprises. So if it's a sudden surprise, a shocking event of some kind, I have to warn you, lady, I am not interested. You know how I feel about sudden, sudden shocking events. Lady? The hell's happening? Is this a sh Am I being shocked? Why are we in the middle of the road? What's happening? You're running away from me. I'm gonna ch I'll chase after you then, I guess. She's zooming. She's actually faster than me at a full sprint now. I've broken into a full sprint chat. What the fuck just happened? Telephone poles? Is, is there like a tornado? We can't be out here. We gotta come. What the? Whoa, whoa, we what? I'm in my room. I'm getting a text. How do I check my phone? <laughs> hey, it's me. One <laughs> battery, that's classic. Hey, it's me. Wow, it's almost 629 where I live. It's freaky. Hey, it's me. I don't know you. Oh, whoops. I'm her oldest friend, Chaka. That doesn't mean anything to me. I don't know you. Oh, mega lull. Okay. Hi, sorry. Anyways. <laughs> so nobody's heard from her in days. I think she got abducted by a demon, actually. It was a sudden shocking event, so I ran. And she hasn't talked to me in two weeks. You probably heard her parents kicked her out a couple days ago because of her new friends. I don't remember asking. <laughs> also, she changed her voicemail. It's just static comes out really loud on the phone. 2022, no mercy, baby. <laughs> Why am I talking to you? What's happening? I'm seriously at a loss here. Have you heard anything? Do you know where she might be? Last thing she told me a few weeks ago. Uh, Chaka, I don't, I don't know what's, what you want from me. She was going to go somewhere she used to go as a child. I don't fucking know where she'd be. It's this old abandoned villa, old mansion, like a remote tourist attraction out in the country or something. IDK. She used to go there when she was sad, when she had a crush on Saigo, LOL. Her family took her there when she was little, I think. Do I have any fucking f apps to play with? <laughs> Anyways, I don't know where it is, but maybe you can find it. Can I like play like Flappy Bird? She'd be happy to see you show up. I think it should be you. I just hope she's okay. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> She's with <really, laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> she was so sweet to us for our whole lives. I just don't get what changes in a person like that. If you find her, let me know. Thanks. Heart, heart, heart. <laughs> Call the police, question marks. All right, I guess I'm going to the fucking villa. Super taxi, your taxi will arrive in one minute. Have your taxi ticket ready. I have my taxi ticket on my phone. Time to go. There's me. I'm looking good. I'm looking good. Damn, man. whoa. Whoa, whoa, when you press escape, your body gets all crazy. 
All right. Let's make sure I've got everything. Mana for the forever tormented. Uh, all right, here we go on mythsandlegends.com. Outside the village of Ikyu, an old villa from the 16th century, which is all allegedly haunted, has gathered much speculation and attention in the past decade. However, the legend is blast. Shut up! I gotta click there to see, get that free camel! <laughs> fuck this! And fuck you! I want the camel, I want the cool stuff! <gasps> right now! I can't, I don't have a mouse on this page. Legend has it that the house is inhabited by tormented spirits who have yet to fully pass on. Anyone who enters, it is said, never returns. Weirder yet, those who disappear into the house plague the dreams of their loved ones as twisted forms of their former selves. Although many tourists have visited the mansion and lived to tell the tale, an unusual... Wait, doesn't that completely uh, invalidate the second paragraph then? This is a... This does sound like an article that has 476 hits on the page this does sound like myths and legend with a chromatic variant like a gradient that does that does sound like that sounds about right for them to immediately uh ruin their own article by saying that the myth isn't real because many people have actively gone and come in and left they are tourists you don't kill tourists true if they killed tourists then place would not be open even the ghosts know that an unusual phenomenon has occurred where some visitors recall seeing different rooms and hallways as others have seen. Some claim that the only way to see the mansion, as it is told in the legend, is to die in a traumatic way by murder or suicide and be aware of the mansion at the time of death. Well, that's a pretty large net. <laughs> that's a that's a wide net. Turns out the only way to truly haunt the mansion is to know about it and then die. <laughs> All right, I guess become a ghost for legal reasons. We cannot publish the address, but it is said that locals will be able to guide would be visitors to the mansion of legend. All righty. I'm into this. Let's, uh, let's get out there, get to the taxi. We already got our phone. What the fuck this is my, what is this? Is that a map? Is that a manual map system in the game? Bro, hold up, that's badass. Three. Neighbor? Neighbor, my enormous shadow is completely silhouetting the door. Neighbor, if I do not return within the next five days, I need you to call the police. Neighbor two, I am here. I need you to call the police if I don't return within four days. And if that person in, in apartment number three hasn't already called the police yet, call the police on them for not calling the police. Thank you. I love you. Any mail? Ding, ding. I didn't close my door! It's a one-way elevator. You can't go back up, dude. You can't go back up. It costs $12 to take the elevator. My apartment sucks. Anyways. Manager. Oh, he's gone. Anyways. Man I love that station. But anyways, my taxi should be here by now. So let's, uh, get going. And I'll miss you the most, Igor. I will see you when I return from saving my beloved. Taxi! <laughs> I got my phone right here. I love the art style in this game. This is, I know it's like a lot of like pixels and stuff, but the perspective of it is really unique. So you want to go to the mansion, eh? 
Well, I'm glad that you called. I'm the only driver I know who knows how to get there anymore. It's just up here. It's just up here a bit. It's like five minutes away. Why are you going so late at night, though? I don't think anyone else will be there. So be safe in those woods, okay? Can I give you some advice? Yeah. It's easy to get lost out there. I recommend drawing your path in a notebook. Pretty sure my last ride left one in the back seat. You can have it. Some matches back there, too, if you want them. It's probably dark inside the mansion. It's not a flashlight, but it'll help. Also, in those woods, if you get lost, just look up and you should be able to follow the path of the trees. I'll keep the engine running for you. Just come back to me when you're done. Wait, what? Damn, dude, are you like a five-star Uber driver? Huh? I'm gonna wait for you here because I know you're going into a haunted, cursed mansion, so you can double back whenever you want. And I'll just take you home, bud. That's a homie. Six stars. Found some matches in a notebook. Maybe you'll need these. Kiss him? No, I also don't have any money to tip. But I will give him a good review. Chad, all my money was in my house. You, uh, sure you don't want to, like, leave? I might not come back for a while. Well, here we are in, uh... How do I... How the fuck do I use the notebook? Like the map. Oh, I can see my character moving. Hang on. Close this. I gotta like get used to the control. How did I get here? I got lost. I walked. It is opening the map. It is like, re it's revealing the map as I walk. Okay. So then I can say like, hey, I went that way. So I can like sort of trace my direction I'm going. Okay. Going in a straight line. Maybe I'll just keep going in a straight line. I found it. Thanks for the help. You can go. It was actually really easy. I went in a straight line. Let me get that labeled. Yoink. And that's where we started. L O L. Nice maze, assholes. Here we are in the mansion of death. Aren't I supposed to die to get in though? Isn't that like the rules? <laughs> Is there a complimentary gun or like a knife I can use? Like at the door? Maybe it's got like a saw trap and I just like step forward, hit a tripwire and a shotgun just takes my head off. I don't even notice. That's a horror movie. Here we are, in the mansion. So, uh, floor one, here we are. Let's, uh, head on in there. I don't know how to use a match. Ah. Uh. Is that blood? Mmm. Picking up some kind of, hearing some kind of ghoul out there. I remember this game said it had sudden shocking events. Oh, Jesus, it's a sudden shocking event. I'm running. It's just like the game said, bro! <laughs> Stop the game! 
stop the game. I stop. <laughs> stop the game. Stop the game. Stop the stream. Stop. <laughs> that sucked. What was that? A ghoul? That was like a. That was like a straight up like a. It had a sheet on it. It was just like like a normal ghost. I'm angry. Okay. Go away! I said go away! I'm getting shot! What's, uh... Ow, fuck. I think it's stabbing me. Oh, that thing's still after me. <laughs> Shocking event. Fuck off. It's uh, here's the thing. I don't really have much time to think about the layout of the map when the ghoul is like ripping my face off. I'm being ripped into the wobbly realm. I can't do anything. He's breaking every single fucking lamp. Four. Hup. Hup. I lost him. Hang on, everyone shut the fuck up. Okay, so I gotta do one thing pretty much right away and just say this whole spot. Uh, there's gonna be a ghost in there. Some kind of ghost. Maybe a ghoul. Either way, pretty bad. Um, it's it, 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 uh, if I were to trace the path I took for this to happen, uh, we started here. I turned this way. And right about here, I'm just gonna get an arrow here because I need more. Like, this was where the uh, shocking, uh, sudden event happened. Uh, shocking sudden event right there. We'll put that in blue. That was the shocking sudden event. Um, at which point I panicked. I ran this way. Got all turned around, went back this way, went up here, and it looks like there's something right there I could go to. But, um, I think we're dealing with a ghost situation. <laughs> I think we're dealing with some kind of ghoul or a specter. Um, but, uh, hey, it's only level one. Let's get out there. I believe the entire time I've been in the thing, it's been strangling me. And I think I am a hundred percent ghoul now. I think I'm I'm fine, I got out of it. Dude, there's a lot of ghoul happening and I was trying to fill out my map. I don't know why I'm being bullied. I don't know why I'm being bullied. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Help me. You know, let me just check my map. Everyone shut the fuck up. All right. I don't have the key for this door. And y'all got a key? Man, this way is... I lasted for three minutes and one second. I apparently disturbed two spirits and my love was not found. Yeah, I'd like a redo. Because I feel like I never had a chance in a million billion years. I didn't even get this key last time. The 
this time I'm gonna do this a little more carefully because um, it's a roguelike. Skull, what the fuck is going on? Skull talisman, give flesh. Wield the flesh giver's gift to disarm spirits. How am I gonna mark this on my map? Give flesh, how do I mark the spot where I give flesh? I gotta keep that in mind. Closest spirit forced into a human body to create a zombie. As a zombie, the enemy is slower and less aggressive, but cannot be dispelled by the dispel talisman, okay? Taunt spirits, I can also taunt spirits. Place the talisman on the ground, the talisman will follow you. All spirits are afraid of the talisman and will avoid it last 30 seconds. Sounds like I wanna use taunt. I don't know how long I've been here. The sky is always different. From one window to the next, the sky is different. But I think the real sky is red sky. Did I accidentally just put that talisman down? Or has that talisman always been there? Is door unlocked? It's as simple as that. That's 4-1, baby. Did I just get a bad seed? <laughs> Anyways, here I am in floor two. Uh, easy this time. The walls are some kind of slime. This door is freaking locked. And I'm pretty sure there's a ghost that way. The walls are static. Think there's some kind of ghoul? Okay, I'm gonna mark this down on the map. Right here. Stop. You're in some kind of goblin. Not sure. I'm gonna take a look. <laughs> Uncanny stench. How do I take my flashlight back out? I have no, there's all these controls in this game, you know what I mean? But I'm not getting any feedback when I press buttons. I don't even think I, ha there we go, flashlight's on, okay. Act. There's a ghoul over there, I'm not going that way in a million years. That's a dead guy. That's a fucking dead body. That's just a dead body. What was the button to get a zombie instead of a ghost? Because that might be a pretty good deal. It's like F. I don't think I. Ha I don't think I own a talisman. I don't think I ever picked one up. There's a ghost around one of these corners. Wait, did I just do it? Hold up. That ghost just farted at me. <laughs> Fuck off. That ghost did, it just <laughs> flew at me and farted. What is happening? I, I, I'm i baffled. I'm baffled. This horror game's weird. <laughs> like fucking flew at me I fucked up big time with the map <laughs> I can't use it anymore I really beefed it I beefed it on the map I beefed it it's all ghosts it's all it's all ghosts it's all ghosts I'm in the ghost realm Every wall is covered in slime. Some ghost farted at me. 
half the time. Cool. Cool. Done? Let's go making monkey sounds. Little chimpanzee sounds like. <laughs> Hand. This door's locked. I backtracked the way I came then. Nothing. Some kind of moaning happening from that way. Have not gone this way, I know this. Hello? Looking for a key. Looking for a key. Looking to not disturb any demons, if I can help it. Dead end. Nothing. It's the last... Last ghost fucking farted all in my face, so honestly... If we can keep that from happening a second time... I believe I've been murdered by the ghost. I have been turned into a skull. I lasted for four minutes. Love was not found. Apparently I disturbed four spirits. I only heard one spirit get disturbed by me up until the very end. And it was the one that farted in my face as it like fucking blasted away. But that's a new record on floor two. We're gonna get uh, back in there, see if I can do any bit. Tell me I gotta go all the way back to the very beginning? Well, floor one was really easy up until that one time where it wasn't so easy, right? Found the key already, easy. Got it. And this time I gotta keep an eye out for talismans on the ground, because I don't have those, and I think those are costing me. So I think everything down to like some of the spooky monsters are all procedurally generated. So they all like look different. So like a lot of it is like, even if we're doing the same level over and over again, we're seeing like new things. Hey, hey, hey. Is that a ghost? We got ghost. Yeah, I don't think I want to check out that room. We go this way. Dead body. Dead end in general. Big open room. Not hearing anything down there. Nothing in the spooky closet. There's nothing for me over here. Is that a monster in the middle of the hall? I think it might have been. I think it just slammed its foot on the fucking ground. Like, angry at me for trying to walk down that way. Uh, we're gonna hang out in the closet. I'm gonna try to get an idea of what the map's looking like on this one. Uh... So this whole area is, um... Like... Not good. So far. Like, is uh, at least what I'm getting. Like, I'm getting bad vibes from floor one this time. I already have the key. So all I gotta do is find the funny exit. But, um... You know... I'm not really sure that's gonna happen. Oh, there it is. Lamp. Demon. Demon. El Diablo. The farting ghost is back! The farting ghost is back! The one that farts! Warp talisman! What did I just pick up? Jumps user ahead can be used to warp through walls. Jumps user to the farthest location away on the floor. Back! 
I do not know if I just did it or not. I've warped, I've warped, I've warped. Is it running towards me? Oh, fuck off! <laughs> I don't know what else to say! Ooh. Floor plan! I don't know how that helps me. How the fuck do I use, like, unique items? Spider. Fuck, I just warped again. Y'all ever just accidentally warp like five times because you don't know how to switch the item in your hand? Where the fuck's the exit? Where's the exit? I'm not playing around. I have the talisman. Is this the exit? Easy. And that's how you do it, dude. I'm a god. All right, I've got the talisman. Where am I? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Wait, my talismans are gone. Our ghost is right fucking behind me. I can smell him. I can smell him a mile away. Fuck! <laughs> Why is it? Why is every horror monster in my game making fart sounds? It's supposed to be random. Why is everyone farting? <laughs> I am. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. I don't understand. Why is it happening? This is not supposed to be a funny game. Why do I keep running into like the fucking fart ghost? Get off of my face, lady! They're playing like some scary fucking song. Oh god. Travel talisman, here we go, we got it again. Got it again. F will get us as far away from this guy as possible if he catches me. It said it was one time use, but I swear I was able to spam my last talisman 18,000 times. So I'm not sure if that's accurate. Either way, we're gonna label this uh, hallway here uh, in green. Like this whole part here is green. And green stands for fart ghost. Oh, this is a different talisman. I win floor two, baby. That one takes me to the next floor, this one. This is a different talisman. I held F and I, where am I? I'm in floor three. Any farters? <laughs> they hear, you hear echo down the halls of the haunted mansion? Any farters? Had enough of that. Ooh, the key. Mine. Ooh, a talisman. Mine. What does a skull talisman do? I don't know what a skull talisman does. I'm getting s I, I, amazing at this game. Amazing at this game. Amazing at this game. Amazing at this game. I am amazing. Spider. Noose. I didn't do that. That was not my disturbing. I didn't disturb that. We got someone disturbing? I just gotta find the key. I found the exit. I just gotta find the key. It's 
seems I accidentally used that talisman and may have pissed the ghost the fuck off. I think I might have accidentally used a talisman that I didn't realize I owned. I did have a talisman. I think I just hucked it on the ground. I may have been the taunt talisman. Just gotta find that key, baby. Here we go. At least this one's not farting. We didn't hear any <laughs> something tearing around a corner this time. That's cool. This game's great. Okay. I think this spirit has lost me. Fucking locked. It's a dead end area. Only way I can go is all the way back. The same way it has to go. Was it always this red? Well, that's the exit. Floor plan I don't think actually helps me. I don't know how to use the floor plan. Just looking for that key. I know the map layout is not that complicated. If I find the key, I can easily... Oh god, it's the fart ghost's fucking room. The toilet! Toilet closet. Santa? He lost me. That was a spirit. That wasn't a guy. That wasn't like a thing. There was a spirit. There was a dark spirit. Going down this way. We haven't gone this way. And our key could be down this way. Wait a minute, we totally went down this way. Oh, fuck. Santa, please! I just need the key, bro. I just need a key. 
Just gotta find the fucking key! Back to toilet room. Nah, this ain't toilet room. At least I can say for certain, uh... Exit. Just gotta find uh, where the fucking key is, and we can go. No talismans to my name. No talismans to my name. Got an achievement for how good my fucking art is. Well, well, well. It's been some time, toilet. It's been some time. It really has. It really has. It really, really has. Fuck yeah. So we know all these doors are locked. The honesty is have to I Demon. Demon Diablo. Something jostled. We know it's not in this section. It's gotta be somewhere in this half. If we pass the door, we've gone too far. I'm telling you. Oh my god. That guy's like fucking actually yelling at me, for real. <laughs> Just gotta find a toilet! Okay, okay, you got it. This is a dead end. Fuck. Good news is he came through and he went through the fucking boarded up wall behind me. Go, go, go. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Where am I? Am I outside? In the gardens. I was about to say this place is really nice and comfortable, and before I could say it, someone smashed a bunch of silverware and like plates on the ground and started stomping on them in the distance. <laughs> Look, this is nice. Oh god, is it the stinky ghost again? Please go. Who the heck are you? I need a haircut. <laughs> I was just about to get one. Dude, you wanna like. Oh, come with me. Gonna die, haircut boy. <laughs> There's a ghost out here. All right. Just fucking go. Still don't know how to use the floor plan. Wait, no, that definitely mapped out way more of the map. For sure, for sure, just did. I did not walk all that yet. I just haven't. Yeah, it just mapped stuff like ahead of me too. Okay, so the floor plan just flat out. Was that, a, was that a giggle or was that a chicken? Because I gotta know what kind of spook is around that corner. Because I thought I heard a chicken. Like a, like a chicken gobble. You fart ghost, you in here, make yourself known. Only warning. So this is all dead ends, which we knew if we were listening to the floor plan at all. This is also likely all dead ends. It's a ghost. 
We're just not going to disturb them, and we're going to leave. Remember, we only get in trouble if we disturb the ghost. You don't go over there, there's a fucking ghost, okay? Just keeping an eye out for you, you keep an eye out for me. Watch my back, I watch your back. Why didn't he tell me this was a dead end? Why didn't that asshole fucking say this was a dead end path? I'll kill him. <laughs> I'll kill him. I'll murder him, I'll kill him. Ghoul! Ghoul! Don't go that way, there's a ghoul. Okay, so this whole side is empty. So we're back to the front. It's him! It's him! It's him! Get the fuck out of here, fart ghost! I don't even know why! I don't know why you're the one that haunts me! The one that stalks me through these halls! What is your deal? I got robbed. I got spooked by the fact that Fart Ghost got me. How the hell am I supposed to deal with this game if I keep running into Fart Ghost? How the fuck am I supposed to deal with that? Whatever, let's give this another run. That's the exit. The only thing we have to fear in this world is the sound of a brap. As long as we avoid that, we should be okay. Flashlight? Nothing. <laughs> Does anyone know anyone that died flatulent around you? When we ate a, ate a burrito or something before they went? Protection talisman. Uh, protection ward. Places a talisman on the floor. Angered spirits will not be able to come near the talisman. Lasts a short time. Pushes any nearby angered spirits back a considerable distance with E. I'll be using that part. Thank you. Skull talisman. I'm gonna stick with protection talisman. Now I have a way to tell the ghost to get away from me. Snore. Just ignore him. Back! Back! Get back, I say! Get back, I say! The talisman broke! No, it didn't back, demon! I don't know where the key is, and there's a fucking ghost chasing me. Back! How many more times I gotta teach you this lesson, old man? You will fear my power! Back. I'm gonna miss this talisman when it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Psych! Back, demon! I put it down. I'm gonna make him stay away from me. All the doors are locked, I don't know where the key is. They broke the glass! Fart ghost is nearby! I can't fucking see! Hang on, let me just label this whole area! Not good, dude! It's just not good! Some kind of fart ghost? I'm prepared to negatively rate this entire fucking place on Yelp, I will. I'm so tired of the farting, it's not even funny. It's gross. Ooh. 25, 24, hop, hop, hike. No one ever catches me. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> 
That was a bad seed. I think I ran by some kind of spirit that was glowing in the dark. I think I, I think what was happening was a spirit was like channeling some kind of power. And I think I shoulder checked it. <laughs> I think I, I think a spirit was like charging up its special move to kill me. And I ran by it and just checked it in the neck with my like elbow or something. I just like spiked it in the throat as I ran by. <laughs> like elbows up at my shoulder, just running down the hall. I broke it in half. Not bad. Here we are, back in the... Back in this room. Duck. Is that a kind of monster? Hawk? That's not a hawk, that's a fucking crow. What am I talking about? Okay, so if there's... You might get lucky and find the key really early. Nope, that's bullshit. Of course not. Was that a brat? I don't think there's any fart ghosts around here. Yet. Maybe later. But for now, it's feeling relatively quiet. And we liked it. Nothing. Does that count as disturbing a spirit? I'm not going to stick around to find out. I disturbed him. Yeah, hands down disturbed him. Yeah, that guy started yelling something at me. <laughs> Dead end. Someone just like cracked open up. No, no, no. I saw them. I saw the stench. I saw the stench. I saw them walk across the fucking bed. It's everywhere! Oh, Jesus, mother of God! <laughs> the uncanny stench! Exit. Just gotta find that key, baby. Got it. I can hear them ripping it from a mile away. It's a dead end. What do you want from me? Be gone! Be gone! Next floor. What's this one? That talisman. What is it? What is it? It disappeared when I picked it up. You said no. Is I just, the game paused when I looked at this one. Okay. Is that a fucking gnome? Why does that look a little bit like a floating gnome? All right, so I have an unlimited reveal the end door location in a brief vision or activate eye freeze time and remote view through a ghostly eye. And I can teleport the eye wherever I want. You an actual fucking gnome? What a coincidence. What is the what is the opposite of the word V? Oh, there's the key. It's in a closet. Wait, am I sure about that? Oh yeah, key's in a closet. Oh. Why is that the only ghost in this fucking mansion? <laughs> Why is it only the farting ghost? Why does that keep happening? Well, I know I'm looking for a closet. That's all, though. It's probably a closet in one of these kinds of areas. Because it's like a dark, sort of stanky kind of closet. So it could be any of these. Cool. I gotta get out of here. I'm about to get yelled at. 
someone's playing a scary piano? No? Okay. Cut the light. Where's the exit? All right, I'm gonna activate the eye. This is, um... Okay. Uh, this eye allows me to teleport to it if I hold F. So I can use it to quickly try to look for the fucking exit. If I'm lucky, I might, like, see it. I'm in a new area. Which isn't exactly helpful to me. Man, someone trashed this room. What the hell? Someone just trashed that place. What's up, lady? Some kind of fart ghost? Because <laughs> that's honestly the only thing that scares me. Fuck! Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Found it. Right by the exit or entrance. What, uh, floor plan? He wants to build heaven, but his version of heaven is wrong. Is that a bird? Y'all got a bird or something? I heard like a bird, like a squawk. Bird ghost? Why do I have a bird ghost? Is that a dead fucking end? I'm not surprised. Right down this way. Door. And the second door is fucking locked. Okay. Also locked. So this whole hallway. Dude, honestly, bud, you got cut down on dairy. I think that's what it might be. It might be lactose intolerant. Like, I gotta ask you to stop. I gotta ask you to stay away from me. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Like, the sounds your body is making are scary to me. I gotta ask you to quit it. Dead man. I have not gone this way. I have to disturb that lamp. I had no choice. This music is really nice. Well, don't hold your breath for too long enjoying this, because any second now a big fart's gonna happen on Mike. So brace yourself. Enjoy it while you can. Cause any second now. Oh yeah. So these are all dead ends. I think I missed a spot, but it must have been at the entrance. Oh, is that blood? of God I'm fleeing you fucking owned 
It is nice that you can run through them. Well, they're ghosts. They can't stop me from doing that. They really have no control over me, like, shoulder checking them and just pushing them out of the way. Fuck off, bro! I had to disturb this table to get to this fucking door. This door, the ghost pushed this. Dude! Come on then! Fucking tango! Ooh. Yeah, what's good? Wait, this one's not gonna protect me. Teleport to a random place. Get uh, bamboozled on. Where am I? Oh, fuck. I was here about 30 seconds ago. This is just about the worst spot. But now I can check this, which was a window. He's back. <laughs> the prodigal son has returned. <laughs> it's him. Uh, the one that farts. guys gotta hey give me this get away from me I don't get his sorry haircut guy better luck next time fucko I'm getting out of here <laughs> simple as that now then Where the hell am I? Is that blank? Is, what is that? Hang on, activate the eye. Hang on, do that again. Activate. Okay, so the key is just on the fucking ground. Well, eye talisman might be the strongest talisman in the game. So I'm not about to ditch it. They took my fucking torch. I don't have a flashlight anymore. And that's it. Pillow. What am I even doing? What am I? What am I fucking doing? What am I doing? Uh, like <laughs> the only ghost that's after me in this place is the farting one. Was my girlfriend? Did you have like fucking gas problems? Like, why is this the only one after me? Is it her? You died of IBS. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. No, I didn't. <laughs> I would have remembered. I couldn't have died like that. That doesn't make any sense. El Fatino. El flatulente. Someone just point me to the... Wait a minute. Are you... the one making that sound? You funny little... Oh, that pisses you off, you little bitch! Fine, I'm leaving. I just need to find the key anyways, none of this matters. It don't matter. Don't matter. I'm not gonna hang out with that guy anyways. This is the exit. So let me uh, actually let me actually properly label this. Exit. So I don't lose it. 
Now we just have to find the actual key. Maybe it'll be somewhere really easy. Like right next to the exit. That'd be cool. Either way. I go by him. Wish I had a key. Wish I didn't have to do this. I think I explored this area. It's a ghost right there, dude. Bro! Oh. There's a fucking spirit right there! <laughs> dude, I think that pillow's freaking haunted. Well, well. It's too bad I just got the travel talisman, bitch. See you later. I don't need to hang out with you. Eventually, the fart ghost will no longer be able to follow me. And that is when I will become a happy man. That floor plan did not fill out much of the map for me. I wonder if anyone has ever seen him. Or if this is just what he is. I wonder if he is ever beautiful. Dude, I can't even get... Is that Game Boy? I got three matches. Is the exit? Dude, I can't... The three the key! I got it! Get me out of here! Easiest, easiest level of my life. Everything was jammed into one room. I won. Is that the key right there, too? Piece of cake. What, really? Piece of cake. Just don't know what to say, baby. I just don't know what to say. Oh God, I hear someone making sounds. <laughs> <laughs> object talisman pulls a random object from the ether spawns a random object ta talisman key map door spirit find one use does not consume Marks location of keys, talismans, and doors on the current floor's map. If a quest has been started, it'll mark the quest item. Okay, wait, what does it mean one use does not consume? Sounds like I want to use fun. Okay, just marked all the spots. And now I also want to summon an object. I created a warp talisman. Are any of these travel? Beacon talisman. Find your way in the darkness. Drops a talisman on the ground. Producing light and sounds which attract ghosts to the talisman. Eradicate dark. Helps the user see in the dark while on this ability will attract glowing spirits to the player. Nah. Recall talisman. Alright, warp's the best one. So we don't need to go here at all. We know where the key is then. It's one of these two spots. We'll still have to find the actual exit after, but we know the way to get to the objects. One should be right ahead of me. It's the key. Now I just have to find the exit. Which I am not sure the exit is marked. But, uh, I mean, we've got the other stuff. Finding the exit is just a trial and error thing. Eventually we'll get lucky. Well, we know there's a ghost down that way, but I kind of have to go that way. I sort of have to go that way. I ain't scared of ghosts. It's locked anyways. All right, I don't need to be here. All right. Skies are getting awfully demonic lately. Sort of red. And evil. Is 
What's up, dead guy? I met this old priest today. He was drawing talismans inside his room. He gave me one. He told me it was very special and he would know how to make spirits, blah, blah, blah. Bids. Oh, exit. Easy. Easy, dude. This game is easy. Object talisman. Okay. Uh. Show me where the stuff is. Hey! The fuck are you? Did you just come out of my talisman, you little piece of shit? Fuck you! Give me that back! Little bastard! Stay right there. Don't follow me! Hey! <laughs> Alright, fine. I'm leaving. Weirdo. <laughs> Had a weird baby came out of that talisman. <laughs> freak! You're a freak! No, oh, no, I'm not going that way. I won't go that way. <laughs> it seems <laughs> the fart ghost El Flatulino is here. Hey, you don't deserve this key. That guy just take the key and then fucking, uh, wind runner, road runner, like just road run, like poof, out of the way, just road run. I, I had to like wily coyote him now and like chase him. Excuse me, sir. Come back. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Mikey. Hello? Oh, talisman room. I might just skip it. If I can find a travel one, dispel. Dispel, place a talisman on floor, dispelling any nearby angered spirits. Talisman slaps, slaps nearby spirit with the talisman pushing the back and harming them with a chance to kill. Oh, there's a key. He left the key here. All right, I'm gonna do this. Do this the old-fashioned way. I'm gonna use the eye to try to find where it is. That's back where I was. Might just get lucky and find the exit. Doing this, and if I do, then I can use the eye to teleport to it. Or I'll get Omega Hyper Lost. The exit's right here. Oh yes. The exit is right here behind this locked door. Oh, this is a dispel key. Wonder where that guy went then, because if he took the key, then why was it on the ground? Well, at least I can slap spirits with this. Oh, that was a ghost. Should have known you'd be here. I could smell you before I before I even turn the fucking corner. You little bastard! Get away from me! I will kill you. I will use my spirit talisman to take your. F oh, it's gone. I only got. It's supposed to be one to twelve uses, and I only got one. Didn't there used to be a uh, talismans there? Beacon dispel recall. Protect. I'm more of a dispel guy. No? Warp. Nice. Yo, exit over here? We got any, uh, we got any exits? Exits. Exits. 
Just looking for that exit, baby. Wish I kept that eye one for longer. That would have been really helpful. Well, let's start scouring the area. Let's go ahead and warp right out of that one. He's still on me. Oh, exit. <laughs> He grabbed on as I jumped away, as I dimension door and the fucking ghost grabbed me and teleported with me. <laughs> Someone unlocked a nearby door. Huh? But I'm the unlocker. I'm the one who unlocks. That can't be possible. What just happened? Did I just warp? Where am I back here? I was just over there. Something's awry. Shit. My love? My love? Oh, ghost in this one. I, uh, no, you're not them. My love? Yeah, it's impossible for it to double back like that anyways. This one's also probably, yeah, probably this one as well. My love? Pretty much out of matches in a minute, which is gonna be pretty bummer zone. Not excited about that. This whole area is a big wash. Not getting anything out here. Right over here. I win. I talisman. Recall talisman. Beacon talisman. Fart ghost. Fucking right here. No one's surprised. Ever. I can't get other monsters. The only ghost I get in the whole fucking game is Fart Ghost. I can't get enough of the goddamn guy. Fart Ghost got some weird fascination with me. There's the exit. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just getting lucky lately, but uh... You got owned. Alright, I just don't know what to say, game. You're getting owned. And now I've still got the eye talisman. It's in a closet. By the looks of things. Pile of rocks. Just don't know what to say, dude. You're getting owned. Hey. Oh, hi. Most of these rooms aren't real. I actually kind of enjoy the ritual. Huh? Yeah, you know where the key is? No. Oh. He's locked me in, you little asshole! Alright, we're fine. It's just in a hallway. Just gotta be lucky. Man, I was gonna go sicko mode. I was gonna break that guy in half. I thought he locked me in. You all know me. I I can I can go I, I go crazy. I could kill that guy. Locked up. See you later, asshole. I'll be going on my way. Dead end. We just gotta get lucky now. And then find the exit. Because I'm not gonna use the key. The eye talisman is too valuable to spend from what I've kind of gathered. To teleport. Unless I'm like in danger and about to die. There's some kind of sad. There's some kind of sad. Like. Seal. Maybe a dog in the distance going like Rrr. sad orca. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is, baby. I heard that. Oh. He's just in the middle of a room. It's uh really? Okay, that was a 12 second floor. He's in the middle of a hallway.
floor plan. Now nah, we hang on to I. There's the key. <laughs> Just gotta find the exit now. Wait, but this is also no. That's not key. It's the talisman. Just gotta find the exit now. You are definitely part of the thing that's making the fart sounds. I'm not even gonna let anyone tell me otherwise. That's part of the problem. He's making the sounds. This guy here, this little pervert's making those sounds. A hundred percent. He's a hundred percent participating. Just looking around for that exit. This whole part of the map is, uh, dunzo. They got me. I panicked. I, st I, I panicked. I panicked. But I think we've seen enough of this game to have the gist of it. I was doing very well. But, uh... Definitely, I think, I, I think we've seen it. It's interesting. And it's only like $4? It's not an expensive game, so uh, not bad. Not bad for like f actually four dollars. This isn't like a fifteen dollar game. This is uh, currently three dollars and seventy four cents. It's twenty five percent off. It's five dollars. Uh, yeah, not bad. They're updating the game very regularly too. It's got like a, it gets like an update every couple weeks. It's fun. All these games were good. <laughs> Who left? Someone laughed at me at the very end as I quit out. <laughs> Stop laughing. F I, I would say this one was the funniest, uh, whether it was intended or not. I think, uh, I, I, I think Fart Ghost might have been the most cursed fucking thing that it's ever happened to me in the game. Cause chat, the whole point of the game's like advertising is that it's randomly generated. As in the enemies and everything are like slightly randomized as well. Like they're all like, they're all like from like a mix. And the fact that from a mix of sounds and visuals and all this other stuff happening, I managed to get fart ghost probably every single floor is a good, is uh, pretty crazy. That's some good odds there, I guess. I, I'm not sure fart ghost is scary. Um, <laughs> if the devs were going for a horror game, I can tell you that, um, I, I didn't get very scared, but that's the RNG's fault, I guess, because I kept hearing farts. I kept having ghosts fly by, and whenever they'd fly by the door frame, I'd hear <laughs> as they, like, flew by, like a little blast. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's... Three games, Toru Taru, Employee of the Month, and uh, Corpse Ocean. All good shit. I would like to thank you all for joining me for the first stream of 2022 No Mercy. I will be back on Monday. I take tomorrow off for Godforged D&D, baby. I, it's been two weeks off. Uh, the next session may or may not involve a very powerful boss encounter. I don't think it will. I don't think we're going to get to the fighting. But uh, we're uh, we're going to be fighting some pretty fucked up stuff in the next couple weeks. Uh, it's actually like I, I, I ushered in a new era with my character's existence. I brought, a, I brought a new dynamic in the form of dragons into Dungeons & Dragons. We're going to actually be fighting the dragon of Dungeons & Dragons. Isn't that something? We're escalating wildly. So that'll be fun. I'm very excited. I've never fought like the classic. There's actually dragons? Joe said he was excited. And if he said he was excited, that means I ought to be excited. Dude, you know what I'm actually thinking though? I'm thinking I might. It dep I don't want to pick a multi class on Adelward without having a very good fucking reason for it. But depending on how the plot goes over the next, like, I guess year, there's a chance that I may... <laughs> no, that's too cursed. 
There's a chance I may do a multi-class into two levels of cleric. So I can get the like the, the lightning thunder cleric that lets me max out all the damage die when I do my divine channel on any thunder or lightning move. Because I'm thinking that if I got that, if Adel Ward suddenly got a little bit, I'm not saying I'll actually do it, but it was something I was thinking of from like a like gameplay power perspective. If I got a temp, if I got two tiers of tempest cleric in me, I could max out all the damage die on a thunder or lightning move. Meaning if I crit an attack, if I crit Thundermonger, I can then max out every single die of it on the crit and the original attack and just do like fucking 150 damage or like 200 on a turn. No, I'm not saying I'd ever do it, but uh, it's been in my, it's been the back of my mind. But I don't think I ever will because there's so much good stuff later that I get on my character. I don't think I'd ever do it. The other stuff I get later is so good. Like my ca my class has got some rough edges, but the end game shit that I get as a thundersmith is so fucking cool. Like I get some really choice stuff, so I don't know if I'd ever do it. But I've had this weird fascination with multi-classing in D&D lately. What's the die count on Thundermonger? Think of it like Rogue. It's like a sneak attack. It's, I can proc Thundermonger the same way a rogue proc sneak attack, except I have no requirements to do it. I don't have to have advantage or have someone in melee. So it's very strong. The downside is that I'm not as stealthy or as like, uh, you know, good at dodging damage as a rogue is. So I'm like a more, I'm a more glass cannony rogue despite the fact that now I have armor and like a shield and stuff. I, I don't have any like get out of like combat or like easy avoidance of damage things and my saves suck. But uh, oh yeah, that'll be tomorrow. More Godforged, more Godforged on Joe's channel, twitch.tv slash Joe Fudge. The links are there if you're curious. It's every Sunday except for last Sunday, which wasn't a session because of the holidays. I will see you all then. Back on Monday on this channel at 3.30 p.m. -ish EST. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. 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 Hang on. Gargling Gogurt. Thanks for the 250 bits. Just want to make sure I didn't miss any bit notifications before I leave. Brett, thanks again for the raid. As well. And we had a bunch of people that gifted like singular gift subs. Thank you, all of you. It's hard to go through all those, but thank you. If I missed, I know a lot of them were for bits, uh, donating gift subs to like people named penis in all caps. So thanks. I'll see you all on Monday. Goodbye.